Hey everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you actually kind of an older technique for adding just one more layer of depth to color layering stamps. In this case, the beautiful new My Monthly Hero Kit from Hero Arts. It's beautiful. It has cherry blossoms, it has layering grass, it has all kinds of beautiful Japanese themed images. I'm using my creative corners with my Misty so that I can have the grass image going off both sides of my card front. I encourage you to use these creative corners with these wider stamps. You can see that the grass stamp has a second layer. And I'm just going to position it so it's hanging off a little bit off each edge and making sure that it's up in the corner of my creative corners. Then I will pick up the stamp with the lid of the Misty 2.0 coming soon in a couple of months. And I'm using the solid grass image first with this beautiful lime ink. I recommend getting the ink cubes, especially for color layering stamps because they have so many tonal shades in their ink line that it really helps when you're doing color layering stamps. Now you can see there are some open areas that look like rocks in this image. And those really help you to line up the second layer when you go to put that on. I am going to stamp the base layer twice just to get it a little darker. And then always make sure your cardstock is back in the corner before you go to the next layer. I have ruined many an image just by not doing that one simple task. And now I have the second image down without making you watch the back of my head while I line it up. You really have to get over a good layering stamp to get it lined up. And then I'm coming in with moss ink for the detailed layer. And here's my trick. This is called thumping. I hold a water-based marker. This is Kareen markers very loosely and kind of shake my hand to get as random a pattern as I can onto the layering stamp. And I always do this on the second layer or whatever the top layer of your layering stamp is. And then you just press it down. And you can see that it's added quite a bit of detail to the grass. Now I'm actually going to clean this off and I'm going to add a second layer, which I should have done first of the moss ink just to show you that detail and how the Korean marker layers into that. Right now it's still a little bit faint. So I'll ink that up again and stamp it. And I do have a coupon code for these beautiful brush markers on my blog and I'll put it below the video too. You can get 15% off of these. I love these. These are my favorite brush markers. So now that darkens up, you can see the detail a little bit, and you can also see those fun darker spots that are made with the Kareen marker. And I'll show you a side by side at the end of the video again, as I did in the beginning, just to show you the difference between using this thumping technique on a layering stamp image and stamping the image just the way that it was intended. They're both beautiful, they're just different. Now I'm using Cup of Joe. This is such a great brown. I love this brown. It's as close to my sepia watercolor, Daniel Smith, that I think any ink really gets. It's beautiful. And then I'm also going to take a dark brown marker and just do the same thing, adding a little bit of texture with the brush sideways to the tree. This I'm not holding quite as loosely just because this image is smaller, so I don't need that kind of all over pattern. I just want little sort of notches into the bark of the tree. You'll see this better in the photograph. It's kind of a cloudy day today, so my studio is a little bit dark. Now the tree is beautiful. It's a cherry tree, or it can be any like pear tree, and depending on what color ink you stamp it in. But I'm stamping it as a cherry tree. And there are also some loose cherry blossoms that I'll add to the card, which I think are just stunning. I wish we had trees like this where I live, but we don't. 
So I'm layering the pink for the first layer. And I don't care if this layer didn't get completely inked because you're adding so much texture with the second layer, which is pale tomato ink. And then I'm going to take the pink Kareen marker and do the same thing, just to add some little spots of darkness around the petals of these flowers for a little bit deeper tone. Once you've stamped it once, you can always go back just with the marker and the stamp and add a little bit more. And what's great about it being random is it's random. <laughs> So it doesn't, you don't know where you had the marker the first time. And so when you go to put it on the second time, it's truly random and it adds so much interest to your projects. Thanks so much for watching.